Hello everyone, for today's video we going to way back to 1955 story about the young boy Emmett Till. 1955 August 28th Emmett Till murdered. On August 28, 1955, while visiting family in Money, Mississippi, a 14-year-old Emmett Till, an African-American from Chicago, is brutally murdered for allegedly flirting with a white woman four days earlier. His assailant the white woman's husband and his brother made Emmett carry a 75-pound cotton gin fan to the bank of the Tallahatchie River and ordered him to take off his clothes. The two men then beat him nearly to death, gouged out his eye, shot him in the head and then threw his body, tied to the cotton gin fan with barbed wire, into the river. Till grew up in working-class neighborhood on the south side of Chicago, and though he had attended a segregated elementary school, he was not prepared for the level of segregation he encountered in Mississippi. His mother warned him to take care because of his race, but Emmett enjoyed pulling pranks. On August 24 while standing with his cousins and some friends outside a country store in Money, Emmett bragged that his girlfriend back home was white. Emmett's African-American companions, disbelieving him, dared Emmett to ask the white woman, sitting behind the store counter for a date. He went in, bought some candy, and on the way out, was heard saying, bye, baby, to the woman, there were no witnesses in the store, but Carolyn Bryant the woman behind the counter later claimed that he grabbed her, made lewd advances and Wolf whistled at her as he sauntered out. Roy Bryan, the proprietor of the store and the woman's husband, returned from a business trip a few days later and heard how Emmett allegedly spoken to his wife. Enraged, he went to the home of Till's great-uncle Mose Wright, with his half-brother J.W. Milam in the early morning hours of August 28. The pain demanded to see the boy despite pleas from Wright, they forced Emmett into their car, after driving around in the night, and perhaps beating Till, in a toolhouse behind Malam's resident, they drove him down to the Tallahatchie River. Three days later, in his corpse was recovered, but was so disfigured that Mose Wright could only identify it by initialed ring. Authorities wanted to bury the body quickly, but Till's mother Mamie Bradley, requested it be sent back to Chicago.